Okay, I have thought long and hard about this, but I think I finally came up with a Rageblade Misfortune build that is not trolling. I'll explain in a second. Um, first of all, we need to play this lane phase. We are on unranked to diamond after all, and we want to win. We want to make sure we finish this journey in a timely manner. Um, push for level 2 here. We should be able to get all minions as well. Okay, they're level 2, but we're level 2 in a second. There we go. So, um, the idea is we're playing essentially a full lethality one-shot build without boots. And Ginzo's is, um, part of our lethality package, essentially. Because it also gives you... It gives you more slow on your E, but that is marginal. Um, careful. Yeah. And it gives you a bunch of percent armor penetration. Plus, it works greatly with a very good misfortune item, which is, um... Blade of the Ruined King. Hang on. Don't want to get hit by those tornadoes. And then we're just going to go full lethality afterwards, because Blade of the Ruined King deals physical damage, and... And we can still auto-attack people to death. We're not like a one-trick pony with ult. Um, anyway. I mean, show, don't tell, right? So, um, we better play a good and clean game, so we get our items and actually show what the build is capable of. We press the attack trigger. We're gonna Q-Max. Oh, that did not land. Yeah. Uh, Amumu engaged just as my tornado landed. Um, uh, just as <laughs> Janna's tornado landed. Excuse me. And... Therefore, we missed out on the kill, which is quite unfortunate. But... We're still in good shape. We still poked Zeri out of lane. That's Janna's flash. Um, which is worth keeping in mind. Okay, we're gonna push this in. And we also get access to the overheal, which means... We um, won't feel it as much that we don't have boots. Anyway, let's make sure this actually goes under tower. Alright, this is fine. Base in this corner, hopefully they don't punish me for it. I don't have flash, this is actually super risky. But it looks like they're not uh, they're not approaching, so it's fine. Um, we can start with... Actually, let's start with triple longsword. Um, you, can, you can get a an early serrated duck, because it's just the p most powerful component item you can have. And then builds towards the Blade of the Ruined King for the nice power spike. Against poke lanes, you can also just start Vamp Scepter to, you know, mitigate their poke damage a little bit. But yeah, this is the core build. Blade into Ginzos, into upgrade to Collector, upgrade to Lord Arms. We lose out on the crit damage on ult, but that's that doesn't matter too much. Ult scales with crit quite poorly, and the lethality armor penetration from this item is way more important. Plus, we get more on hit damage, which is also nice. It's magic damage, but still, it doesn't matter. Damage is damage. We're gonna love it. Um, afterwards we go for other lethality items, doing the same thing as Collector and Lord Doms, minus buffing your own hit. Okay, we should get this, yep. But I think this is the way to go if you want to go Rageblade. You can't just stack crit, because then your ult will deal negative damage. Crit items is for ult damage, are bad for ult damage anyway, and with... And with um, the Rage Blade passive, you're not even getting the crit benef benefit. So, with Lethality, you're way better off, and your auto attack damage will still be amazing with the attack speed and the on hit damage. In any case, we are not engaging here because Amumu did not land the Q. But he's looking for it. She has no tornado and no flash. Nice. All right, we take those. Get more points in Q. Amumu, of course, a very nice support with a um, heavy burst damage playstyle like this one. Also, one of the biggest issues with lethality builds, as in you're very bad at dealing damage to Baron Towers dragons, gets fixed with this approach, which is quite nice, quite good quality of life. 
Um, yeah, we got this clean the under tower. We shouldn't stay here though because this is a very nice opportunity to go base and we are vulnerable if we stay. So we better leave. Get this and get this and we're looking golden. All right, we now unlock fully unlock our overheal with a vamp scepter. Plus we have serrated dark for a beautiful all in damage. Um, about to hit level six in the near future, so having a serrated dark for that's always nice. And yeah, we just move towards Blade of the Ruined King now. And of course, there's also an obvious synergy between Blade of the Ruined King and Rage Blade. So we're taking advantage of that too. Uh, waves coming, sure. I think I just freeze this for now because Zeri missed her back timing. So she will lose like two waves for this. Yeah, this wave plus the next one. Need to thin this out actually because the wave's too big even. Don't want this to fully crash into the tower. Okay, kind of crashes into the tower. I should have managed this better. Okay, so Zeri will only lose one and a half waves now instead of two, which is still a lot. But it could be even more devastating for her. Where is she? She's not on the minimap. Is she trying to approach me? I don't think so. Oh, she, okay, she is near Dragon. We can just follow, to be honest. Waves in a slightly awkward position. Okay, Zeri's mid lane. Um, no one's challenging Dragon. I just push this in so Zeri misses out on all her CS here. Okay. Wave clear is alright with W. You also can kind of tank the minions now with overheal. It's quite nice. Beautiful. Just need to make sure the tower keeps firing so Zeri actually gets punished. Alright, we could base for pickaxe. Actually, not a bad idea. Yeah, Zeri's still losing out on all that CS. Look at the CS disadvantage she has now. Hey, we lasted a little better. We could have gotten ourselves a dagger too. That's all right. As of right now, all we care about is pure AD for ult all-ins. Um, when a Mumu finds an engage, we just auto Q auto for press the attack and then press R. Sounds like a plan. Um, yeah, okay, we lose out on two min oh, one, one minion only. Because we get all the others. Okay, where is enemy bot lane? Zeri and Janna are right there, okay. I'll follow. As fast as I can. Not necessary, huh? Hmm, better be there and not needed than vice versa. <clears throat> I lose out on a full cannon wave bot lane for this room, so it's kind of iffy, but... Uh, Zeri is dead now, and I can push this in so she misses out on the next wave too. By staying, I would have taken the gamble that my team just is fine without me, which is, uh, <laughs> gambling is not consistent when you want to win in solo queue. We can actually fight them here now. Yeah, there we go. Taking a bunch of damage for this. But this is disastrous for Zeri. She loses a, an entire triple stacked, quadruple omega stacked wave. Yeah, this is essentially game over for her. Okay, Amumu did not tank the tower. I flash healed, so he can tank the tower for two more shots. I can walk out of range. We can both walk out of range, kill Janna. But he just ditched me and I die. Um, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I died to Janna, so it's not the worst thing ever. The truly bad thing here is I lost my summoners, but I'm still not as screwed as Zeri. 
She lost way too much. In any case, let's run to lane. This is magic damage, which is fine, actually. Um, it doesn't synergize with lethality, but uh, this will be physical damage. So it does, and early game magic damage is actually better. Because, look at that. Magic resist, armor. Magic resist way lower. Make sure we farm all of these. Zeri's mid lane. Uh, we can fast push a wave. Easiest way to punish Zeri in this position. Enemy unstoppable. That's not nice. Eight kills Katarina. Uh, we take more platings. I have no idea where Katarina is, so I just back off. But yeah, it's only Katarina. The rest is fine. The rest is manageable. Okay. Do we just get this tower now? Good damage. Very good damage. Extremely good damage. Yeah, he underestimated it. <laughs> he thought he could just assassinate me. Alright, that's cute. Um, yeah, we're gonna take this down. Overheal kiting, quite nice, because you just get to keep your W movement speed passive. Run around with a million movement speed. Even without boots, it's super nice. Alright, well, we take this dragon now. I really need to get my items. I need to go base and buy, but I um, also want to help with dragon. Because it's the right thing to do, isn't it? Anyway, we get some nice components and finish our first major item power spike. Looking good. We actually have decent attack speed now, and we still have 200 attack damage at 14 minutes. Growing bigger and bigger over time, and on hit damage plus lifesteal plus everything. So, of course, this is not as much ult damage. Ah, I forgot upgrading my trinket. Um, not as much ult damage as strict lethality, but... Well, the trade-off's well worth it, I think. Should be way easier to play, too. Because you have bigger margin for error with lifesteal and overheal. Also, it's easier to play in terms of mana management, because you just have the attack speed to push waves. Katarina topside, we can just do our thing here. Yeah, pressure the tower. Or pressure Kha'Zix. Okay, we don't want to walk into Katarina, of course. Yeah, better not get caught. Blue buff expires, so I need to be a little bit more wary of my mana usage. Come on, jump. Ah, I wasn't in auto range. Attack move in place in case she jumps. Yeah, I wanted to do that earlier too, but I was slightly out of range. A little too scared of her. Which is probably okay, because <laughs> you, can, you can hardly be scared enough of a million kills Katarina with Magi's. Okay, sure, buddy. Wasn't in position to do anything meaningful, though. Uh, we just lifesteal back um, up on the next wave. Or do we? Right, nice. 
The burst damage is certainly there. We didn't even need to ult, we just auto-Q autoed for press the attack and... Okay, it's not in range. We're deleting the waves, also not bad. We can just keep pressuring now. Also, Darius having a field day. Can we get another charge? We can. That's big. Katarina's alive though, so we just run. I guess we get our mythic and... Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Please. Okay, we overstepped. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm... I, was, I wasn't decisive enough in my action, and now I pay the price for it. Alright, but we get a full Rage Blade now. Which, um... Yeah, stacking attack speed and everything. We deal so much damage, even to high HP targets. Should this Garen be a threat at some points, we can just gun him down. Don't need to rely on our ult at all, but our ult still deals tons of damage, of course. Like, this Rageblade purchase is a little bit of a power trough for ult damage, but it will only go uphill from here. Uphill. That's, um... No. Uh, how do you say this? It will only get better from here. <laughs> well, actually, uphill is fine, isn't it? Um, and, of course, the late game will be crazy strong. <clears throat> and, of course, the fact we don't buy boots uh, makes our Rageblade purchase less punishing in terms of ult damage. Tornado did not even break my shield. Yeah, we can quickly quickly farm the jungle. Okay, he wants the red buff for himself. That's alright. Hmm. I would love to just take this dragon, you know? And here Rageblade certainly does. Beautiful work. Uh, buddy. That Amumu kind of entered. He just stood there and let them approach and missed his bandage toss. I have a recall here. If they try to stop me, they die. We got the dragon, okay, at the very, very least. But the team's tilting for some reason. <sighs> Worth. She lost all her Magi stats. Well, not all, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Alright, get this. Increases the on-hit damage. Does not increase the, increase the old damage, though. Um... Oh, wait. It still shows in the tooltip, but that must be a bug. Either visual or just straight up in-game. Because this should set your... Wait, basic attacks, blah blah blah. Your critical strike chance is zero. Okay, yeah, it's just a tooltip bug, I assume. Because that'll be kind of super broken, right? <laughs> but yeah, knocking off all of these, or not, well, the, ma the majority of these Magi stacks goes a long way. Keep an eye out. Uh, yeah, we can start taking Baron. It doesn't cost me much. I have enough attack speed and life steal to not care, even if we need to cancel. With other lethality builds, again, this would be unthinkable. It would be super risky for me. All right, we got it. Yeah, it's resetting a collector. Why not?
and accept Lord Doms for even more armor penetration. Um, yeah, I don't think we need the healing reduction too badly. Uh, let's just get Lord Doms for max damage. Alright, I want something to farm. Golems? Yeah, sure. Oh, Kha'Zix. Uh, we should be there in time because the team's not actively fighting. They need to respond to Darius' top lane too. Which helps a lot. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we just push mid lane then. Come on, guys. Why do you fight two versus X? Life's still back up. Just don't take isolation damage. Wow, I actually entered this. Ah, I was a little too afraid and too greedy at the same time. Which is never a good combination. But we dealt so much damage there. Anyway, let's... Get both of these. Um, better for ult damage because Cloak doesn't increase it by a bit. And um, we get our Last Whisper component faster, more reliably. Or actually, the more I think about it, let's just get this one. Just preventing triumph shenanigans and stuff like that. Plus, this heals, right? Uh, Zeri has lifesteal in her runes, I guess, and we'll buy lifesteal later on. Yeah, I mean, Giant Slayer won't matter too much. I kind of failed my ult earlier, which is a little bit sad. But it is what it is. Let's get Drake Soul, if we can. Hello, Garen. Yeah. Big damage. Alright. This should be Soul. Two of them are dead, including their jungler. And they don't even try and contest. So yeah, this is free. Darius can fix spot wave if he wants to. Yeah, he should split bot lane, really. And we just keep farming, keep pushing. Keep slaying, really. <laughs> that was one auto, not even buffed by the double hit or anything. Just one regular auto attack. <laughs> yeah, let's get this. Bro. Let's walk this way to help Velkos. Okay, should be fine. Oof, I got scared for him. Careful. Attack move in place. In case she wants this. Okay.
Alright, as long as we are grouped together as a team, they can't really break us apart. Especially not Kha'Zix, who needs his isolation damage. Yeah, we take this tower with the next wave and then they're in trouble. Get my shield back. Perfect. Okay. Let him run. We don't need to chase him. We just need to break open their base. Okay. Team kind of overcommitted. For no real reason, unfortunate. Um, they're busy in their base, though, so we steal their jungle. Take the free stuff, win the game. The usual. Yeah, we have enough. Perfect. Getting a new item. Getting even more armor pen from the mythic passive. And from this, of course. Now we just cut through Garen like it's nothing. Look at this. We have 41%. Armor pen and 18 lethality. Well, the lethality will stock up right now, but with 41% armor penetration, every point of lethality will be worth so much more. It's crazy. Also, the casual 3k damage from Blade of the Ruined King. Do we just start it? Yeah, force them to come. We see Kha'Zix. Garen is very far away. Let's try to get a good ult in this time around. I'd like to see that. Yeah, this shreds. There we go. They got Baron for some reason, but they're, they're all dead. We killed four of them. Garen can try and split. But we, fin we finish if he doesn't recall. It's easy as that. Right? Yeah, okay, he recalls. Um, I guess we still finish. What's he gonna do? Yeah, die. Alright. Uh, that was <laughs> quite successful. Let's try this another time. Alright, game number two of the Rageblade Misfortune build I crafted. We'll see how that goes. We have a very weird team composition, very squishy. Like, Nar is our tankiest champion by far. Everyone else is hyper damage. But uh, let's focus on this lane. We already missed one minion over nothing. Um, I'm gonna push for level two. Just like that. But I don't think we can get anything out of this, because they just run to that tower. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I, lost, I, lost, I lost three minions? What? Oh well, <laughs> it happens. Um, we just try to miss not any more. And uh, yeah, again, the plan is the same. We get an early serrated dark, move towards Blade of the Ruined King, and then go Rageblade into th full lethality. And I'm just queuing that. I'm not missing this kind of minion. <laughs> no, thank you. Wait, I'm dead. Okay, I tunnel visioned on the waves so much. Yeah, I deserve this. I'm, I completely ended that. And Senna might even die too, which is terrible news. Uh, we just get a long sword and walk back to lane. Yeah, we kind of messed up there, but it happens. I didn't place down a ward in time. I wanted to push in the wave first and yada yada. It's my bad. I should not have risked that. But uh, here we are. Um, no kills on Jin, so it's not even that bad. Like, the worst, worst thing you can do there is tilt. So you just gotta chill. Now we have an easier time last hitting because of the extra longsword. So it's not all bad, right? <laughs> I mean, you could have also had that without dying, you know, but uh, gotta gotta find the silver lining somewhere. Yeah, we chill, we slowly slow push. At least we didn't waste flash, so Wukong uh, does not get an open invitation to permagank. Oh god. 
Can we just fast push this so it's under tower? Without losing any CS, right? Get them all. Nice. Okay, let's quickly place down a ward. The wave's under tower, we don't lose out on anything. Jin also with a... Not even with better combat items, so it's, it's actually fine. Wukong mid lane. And uh, we just shove this wave under tower. Yeah, it's alright. With Senna, we can't really... We don't have the best synergies for burst damage, but we can just farm. And we also have good consistent damage later on, so it's completely fine. Ooh, Q crit. No Q crit. Okay. Yeah, we shouldn't die again here. We have plenty of vision, and we now also watch the minimap properly. Ah, no crit again. I'm trying to line up my Qs in a way that hits Jin, of course, but he's playing around it. Mid lane miss. Alright, gotta be careful. <clears throat> okay, they're stronger than I thought they would be. Well, they wasted or used both summoners. So at least there's that. But I, I just... I just don't play well right now. Need to fix that. Oh, Senna killed my minion, sure. And this one too. This one I can't get, but I can get this. If Karthus comes, we get a kill here, don't we? But yeah, I messed up quite badly. I can't deny that. Maybe I need an early Vamp Scepter more than the early Dark. I just played smart. Okay, Zerath is trying to room. That's not gonna work. Yeah, Emilio was out of range, alright. It happens. I have heal again, so we could actually try to bait them. I need to save my mana first and foremost, else it's not gonna work. <clears throat> also need to stop getting hit by grenades. <laughs> oh, you're also quite nice. Okay. This one's prepared. Okay, now all our minions here, no problem. Are they base? We want a fast push, don't we? Not fast enough, I guess. Yeah, that's a freezable wave for sure, and don't have the mana to push it further, nor the health. Yeah, just base. So we we actually still have a CS advantage for now. This is a freezable wave, but we should return with better items here. Um, yeah, we actually get Dirk plus Vamp Scepter. Now we're golden. We can fight them now if we want to. We deal so much damage and we have regeneration. Jin has Kishia's Shard, which is also decent. <coughs> but I think we beat them in a duel now, if I don't walk into every spell. Let's see. Team's doing fine. Both solo lanes are winning. Right, stack up our overheal. Found the wave under tower. We could try and all in them with ult if they're too careless about it. Did I miss the cannon? Really? That's 
crazy. They did not get the plating yet, so they're probably greed for it. Karthus is in position. Let's just press R here. Okay, that's Melius ults. Alright, works. Yeah, melee ult, my, my misfortune monkey brain tells me to press R as soon as I see a CC'd enemy. But against melee, that's obviously not um, a guarantee. Because he presses R and they can walk again, you know? Bro. Don't overstay. Alright, actually looking good. We have a lot of attack damage. We deal so much burst here. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. I think I'm, 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 I'm getting a cold. It's not COVID. I made a test. <laughs> um. Yeah, they're decently strong too, but I think we're stronger here. Oh, that's a iffy fight at best. Singed really messed us up. <clears throat> also wasted both summoners in the process. That's uh, a little bit sad here. Yeah, I, tr I greeted for that Melio kill. I should have just played defense more. The gen uh, the the singed drone was too strong. I did not assess the situation correctly, which really cost me here. Uh, lose an extra wave for this too, but we're still not too far down in CS. We're down three minions. It really could be a lot worse. Alright, let's fast push this lane. I'm missing so many minions today. It's a little concerning. Rampage. Can I get a plating here? It depends. If Jin comes to lane directly, I can't. Or can I? Maybe. Yeah, I got it. Nice. <laughs> One auto dealing a million damage to the tower. Jin has double buffs though, and Storm Razor, and Boots upgrade. I need to be so careful. I just chill on the tower, there's no reason to do anything else. I threaten huge damage if he tries to do anything fancy. But if I do anything fancy, I just die, right? Okay, Jenna is roaming, so I push this. I can push fast enough with my dagger and my W. Did not bounce. That sucks. Um, I don't want to stay here by myself. I also don't want to dual Jin with a Storm Razor. Tried to bait him into missing more minions, <laughs> but I didn't actually I didn't actually want to hit him because that trade favors him. If I get a three hit combo off for press the attack, then that favors me again, but just a storm razor hit from a djinn, that's not going well for me. Alright, get all our minions. All right, at least we showed them who's boss. Defended our minion, dealt huge damage to Melio. Didn't dare to ult there because I wasn't really in position. Or Melio was too far away, rather. Melio wasted his own ult, though. Oh, a huge crit. One thing I actually didn't test is if Q still auto crits 
on minion execute when I have Rage Blade, or if that's gone too. But it shouldn't be, because it's not depending on crit chance at all. You do this even with 0% crit. Nah, I try to trade with him, but he has superior movement speed with boots. Uh, so that didn't work. Yeah, we need to find an opening. Oh god. She's just dead. There's nothing I can do. All I can do here is die myself. Nice. He got punished for his greed, but I don't want to die to a gin ult, so I better run. I have heal, actually. Okay. So far, so good. He's actually alive. He flashed, though. I have way too much gold, I need to spend that. Got a recall here. No, 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 I can't stay. <clears throat> you better be careful, my friend. You can take this, that's fine if you want about I. Oh, come on, dude. Did I just die with him? Instead of just letting him die by himself as I intended? Yeah, that's my bad. I mean, if he lives and at least it's a one for one, or at least it's one death for us still, but where it would have been one death before. So it doesn't matter too much, but man, that feels bad. I die for his mistake. It's fine though. <laughs> at least I got a good back timing with a full blade plus an extra pickaxe. I'm super strong now. Oh, Karthus, you don't have ults. Karthus dying without ult is so bad. You should never, because you then can't capitalize um, on the damage you just dealt. They get Drake too. Oh, lost the cannon. Okay, push this wave past river, then roam. Easy. Okay, we're definitely in good shape, we deal good damage. The mere fact you have a build where you don't waste money on boots um, means you'll always be kind of like uh, ahead on, ahead on in, in Magic the Gathering terms, ahead on the curve and mana or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, don't, I can't find a good simile right now. Um, singed coming. Alright, he dies for that. That's nice. Maybe they all die for that. Karth has no ults, but yeah, still, they overcommitted into me. I deal so much damage. We get the tower for a reward as well. Nice! Looking quite good here. Perfect. Just a triple um, hit combo, auto-Q auto. I press the attack plus uh, Blade of the Ruined King, it's so much burst. Yeah, we're golden here. Oh god, don't want to die, it's singed. Just, just run. <laughs> it's not worth, definitely. Uh, we don't have enough for Rage Knife, but we can farm these camps and then push mid lane past river, I guess. Actually, no, I'm too low to do that. 
got Naras here to defend at least. So we're fine. We definitely are. Mid lane is also super strong. Karth is scaling. Yeah, we're looking good here. All right. Now we, um, in terms of power curve, we are plateauing a little bit in terms of ult damage, but we'll just skyrocket later on and our auto damage just goes through the roof right now. Can I walk there? Yeah, okay, as long as I'm with the team, I'm fine. Okay, Nar takes top lane, we are mid lane. I do have my ult, which still deals a lot of damage. I mean, the ult plateau you get from getting Rageblade right now, it's similar to getting Boots, that's also an ult plateau, so... It's not even, it's not even worse compared to regular Misfortune builds. Only worse compared to the pure lethality no Boots build, which is... A given, because that maximizes ult damage. Alright. Also something I haven't mentioned yet is Rageblade buffs your Q1 damage, because that can never crit, no matter how much crit you have. So. Your damage versus your primary target is always higher with this, compared to regular crit. I push mid lane past river, there's no reason to lurk, the jung lurk in the jungle forever. Yeah, push past river roam. Oh god, what's happening? I have ults, if I need to. Don't have flash to finish the job. Senna does. Let's kill her. There we go. There we go. My ult wasn't even that good. But it was enough of a zoning tool for that to work. Lifesteal on the chickens. Drake spawning too. I, I say we just rush Drake instead of idling in their base, which they are going to defend. Don't want to start it right now, but I can set it up with Scuttle. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. He's dead. Nice. Okay, that's easy then. Without Singe disrupting our backline, we should be fine here. Okay, perfect. They overextended into Nar ulti. Alright, I definitely want a base because I want my item. But if we're pushing with Herald right now and I have ult, yeah, we just, we chillin'. Keep pushing with Herald. Keep pushing with Herald. I have ulti. I can guard. We just press R here. I didn't realize he would be overextending that much, so I didn't actually need to ult. Autos would have done the trick as well, but uh, Singed just ran in there. You're beating them up just with Rage Knife and No Boots, Blade of the Rune King. They can do what they want. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I wanted to take the tower. But Nivia was already spawning. I didn't pay attention there. Something tells me we should leave. Or should we? GG. Let's <laughs> go into the next one. Alright, game number three, playing against a Cull Vane. Should be a very quiet early game, shouldn't it? In the mid game we spike super hard, harder than Vayne does, so we can hopefully shred everyone to pieces before she becomes relevant, which she will, will eventually since it's a Vayne Lulu. Um, anyway, I took a bad trade there. We need to push for level two. Let's go. Looks like a no hook. Unfortunate. We're gonna ward instantly, we learned from last game. <laughs> don't wanna fall victim to that Rengar. They level 2 as well now, so we don't have an advantage anymore. Ah. Missing my CS for nothing. Close. Could have worked. Alright, just focus on CS for now until Thresh lands a hook, then we can follow up. And ideally we get some more Q bounces like this, obviously. Also why we max Q by the way, even though we're taking advantage of overheal. Um, we want burst with the early lethality. Alright, oh, it's a shield expired too. Yeah, this Vayne, <laughs> two bad Qs she got and all of a sudden we're winning lane quite hard. Ah. I guess that's still in my favor. Polymorph stopped me from triggering PTA on Lulu though, which is mildly annoying. Yeah, they're so afraid now. Look at them. Polymorphed. Getting ganked. Ah, this point is was do or die, but um, we couldn't kill them. Yeah, Rengar sneaked behind us right as we started to trade. That was, I mean, every time in lane we just go 0 and 2. First thing we do. Anyway, uh, time to bounce back. <sighs> Alright, and I wasted my heal, but not my flash, which is completely pointless, of course. Why would I ever flash there? I'm just 100% dead. I either get a lucky kill or I don't. Uh, lose the cannon, huh? Yeah, barely. But I still lose it. I lose every single minion, huh? Alright. Alright, alright. Vayne got a kill, so this is actually kind of bad. And that was also kind of bad. We'll see how we fare. We just need to not get tilted, like last game. Easy, right? Vayne got a Vamp Scepter. Playing it very safe, I see. We see Renga. No hook. Okay. Yeah, Lulu's shield, if she is good, she can always shield my Qs on reaction if Vayne walks into them. Well, damage is damage, but now that she has Vamp Scepter, it's not as valuable anymore. Unfortunately. Ah, nice attempt. Rengar might be roaming bot lane soon. Depends on how low he is. Just got a kill though. I'm getting a position just in case he gets another hook off. Okay, 
Okay, veins flash. That's nice. Keeping track. Ah. My Q's on cooldown. Yeah, this is way too sketchy. We have no vision. <laughs> if we commit there, we're just instantly dead. As soon as Rengar even notices something is happening, all it needs to do is path bot lane, and we die. Doesn't even need to be close. Yet yeah, there we go. Come on, keep going. No gold card? Okay, good enough. <laughs> I was a little worried when the no gold card came out. Anyway, now we're back on track. That was a good fight. We got them. The huge Presti attack burst damage early game. We didn't even have our serrated duck. Now this will get much stronger. Don't mind the dagger. The pickaxe would be better, of course. But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. And the dagger still goes a long way. It saves mana because we don't need W as much to farm and to push. And just smoother triggering of Presti attack, of course. We're up in CS, we're way up in items. Well, actually not. Well, yeah, we're, we're way up. We have way better items. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Pickaxe versus Dirk and Cull versus Dorans? Yeah, you better believe. Ah, bad trade, but I'm playing 1v2 right now, so I shouldn't be fighting anyway. Fresh mid lane. Maybe I just ult this wave so I don't give them more playthings. Huge. Okay, never mind. I didn't push fast enough and Thresh returned. Hook. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Would have been a free kill. Lulu's level 5 as well. She can't even defend herself. Now she's 6. And we're back to overheal. So, any poke damage they deal doesn't matter. Could have worked, could have worked. He's trying to outplay too much. He should just be aiming where they are. They're not walking backwards at all, but he just pretends they do. <laughs> Which doesn't land us more hooks. Okay, we just we hard lost to Vayne's level 6 power spike. Her ult is way too strong for this. Maybe Graves can clean up? Yeah, okay, actually worth, but... We, we, we actually were quite lucky here that this worked out. This was such a bad fight. The hook on Lulu, I stayed there despite getting polymorphed. That was a big blunder. I should have not taken the bait and tried to go on Lulu. She flashed for this at least. Um, I definitely should have gone on... Or should have switched focus, gone on Vayne. I chased Lulu and ignored Vayne, which was a big mistake. But yeah, as long as Graves bails me out, I'm <laughs> well, kind of works. But still suboptimal play. Vayne with a full Blade of the Rune King. That's a big spike, but we have Serrated Dark plus components. It's also not too bad. But she's slightly ahead now.
probably going for a very similar build actually. Oh, I pushed the wave, need to give up the cannon now. Or do I? <laughs> Okay, I just stand on the tower and farm so they can't touch me. Okay, Azir down. We still got vision. We see Vayne. Oh god, I misclicked. Yeah, she wants this way too badly, huh? Vayne ult on cooldown just as we take or we want to fight for dragon. That's so good for us. Alright. Ult knock up plus her slow got me. You can't chase too effectively with this, unless you have played of the Rune King and trigger it. No boots means uh, if you get C if you get slowed or CC'd, or if you just lose your W passive, which didn't even happen, but her Q was like a 90% slow or something. So yeah, we're not gonna chase that. We don't have to, we still get the dragon, we still get to push the wave. We still get everything we need, essentially. Take a plating. Alright, we can base and get our full Blade of the Ruined King now. Putting us massively ahead of Vayne. And we got Midland Tower. Yeah, it's looking good. Again, we would prefer the pickaxe. But we just gotta stay within our budget, huh? Anyway, we don't mind the extra attack speed too. Well, they can take tower, no platings, means it's quite squishy. Yeah, we, we greeted for those platings, but I think ultimately it's still worth, because they don't get platings in return, they just get tower damage, and that's not as valuable right now. Okay, I'm ready to fight. No ults, but... I have heal if I need to. There we go. Oh, I do have ult if I want. <sighs> Thought as the flay lands, I can press R, but she still had flash. Wait, why didn't I track it correctly? I'm stupid. No, it tracks correctly though. I'm just asking for Renga to kill me. Okay, never mind, they surrender. Um, let's <laughs> go next. I did not pay attention in champ selects. Did not realize we were against an almost full AP team, especially against the two AP bot laners. So I don't have my magic resist shard with me, which might be a little bit uh, of a challenge now, but we could try and go for wit's end as well this game. Works nicely with Rageblade, and if you're in a lobby like this, I mean, why not? But let's first push for level 2, because that's always useful. Did not trigger press the attack because I thought switching targets would have been better, but uh, I'm not, not sure. Yeah, I should have just kept attacking Seraphine. In any case, we don't want to fall victim to uh, LeBlanc's electrocutes. Yeah, they deal a lot of damage because I have the wrong resistance shard. So we don't want to take trades, we just want to poke them with Q from range. Okay, it's fine. They flashed for this too. 
Is it fine? Zerath dies as well. I mean, it's gotta be. They used their jungler as a resource, and we still traded one for two at least. And they didn't even get kills in the bot lane, so they are looking a little bit weak here, actually. We have a big item advantage over them right now, don't we? I even got first blood gold, so that's low-key worth for us. <laughs> didn't waste a single summon as spell too. Yeah, I'm here for it. All right, double long sword on deck. Um, we. Oh, I almost got that into her. Let's thin out this wave before we do anything, of course. So much pressure. Okay, this is definitely warded. We know that, but the wave is frozen now. They need to deal with that first and foremost. Ah, oh, cancelled my auto. The block's not here. Yeah, Seraphina is having a tough time right now. I'm just staying next to the wave, though. I want to maintain this freeze, if possible. Seraphina is bleeding minions here. Yeah, this should still be a freeze because the kind of minion is dealing so much damage. Let's see. Yeah, again, Seraphine is completely out of the game here. She's not allowed to play. Where did LeBlanc go even? I didn't see her on the map either. Something's up, isn't it? Yeah, we just keep the freeze. We have enough minions to maintain that. Unless this wanders under tower, which it kind of does. Okay. Uh, this, this might break soon, this freeze. But for the time being, okay, LeBlanc's top side. Yeah, we, we'll just we'll just keep doing this. Definitely the optimal strategy here. Look at the CS difference. <laughs> 14 on Seraphine. 36 on myself. Okay, this did not wander under tower, which is always nice. Where'd she go? Is she just waiting under tower, hoping I break the freeze, which I will do eventually because I'm not last hitting perfectly? Okay, yeah, she is still chilling in lane. If she's smart, she starts roaming, by the way. She doesn't have flash either. There we go. And we still have the wave relatively frozen. So what's she gonna do here? Do we just keep the freeze? I don't think so. We just push this in. Recall to get item advantage and then go from there. Because else we're too weak. Need to keep up. We're cashing in right now. Delete the next wave, recall. Why? That must have been a misclick. There's no other way. Why did she return to her original location? Okay, this game is very wild. So, enemy jungle is fed. Everyone else kind of sucks. <laughs> In any case, we get this, we get this. All right. We are very strong right now. And actually, we don't need to feel too bad about not having the magic resist chart. The armor shard, kind of important against the three kills Belveth, isn't it? In any case, we have beautiful items right now. And look at this, 30 CS up, two kills as well. Yeah, we can now keep doing what we're doing. Got a lifesteal back up. Took so much damage there. Essentially traded one versus two. Yeah, three people down here, so we don't want to fight right now. 
Yeah, Belveth sitting right there. That's a clone. I use it to lifesteal, though. Couldn't reach. Okay, now I got my ulti. And almost back to full health. Yeah, we can pressure her under tower. Make her miss even more farm. And I'm just ulting this wave, so she misses even more. Nice. This is perfect. Didn't get an assist here, but doesn't matter. Seraphine is completely out of the game. Yeah, this next wave crashes too. We have a 47 CS advantage. We have almost two levels on her. And we got playthings. Yeah, perfect. LeBlanc kind of threw the lane. She roamed and allowed us to freeze against Seraphine, which is neck-breaking. But they still have outs. This Belveth is fed. LeBlanc's also kind of doing work a little bit, but uh, overall it's still looking very good for us. Well, that completes uh, mirror images. Four AD champ. Oh no, we have this jungle, what am I saying? We have two AP champions. Okay. Where is Seraphine? Actually, 10 minutes in, I'm just perma shoving. She's also had enough of this lane, it seems. Yeah, we're pushing this in, getting uh, more playthings in the process. We see them all. Should be safe. Delete the wave. Still hits me. I don't have ult anyway. I can't. I couldn't have won this. Yeah, that was a little too overconfident. But at least I didn't waste summoners for this. Hmm. Okay. Um, get another dagger. Why not? Yeah, I'm dealing a lot of damage. With ult, I could have won against just Belveth, but I mean, it wasn't just Belveth as we saw. Um, the bad part here is that Seraphine kind of bones us back now. She got a lot of free farm. I lose farm. She got a plating. <sighs> Keeping things interesting at least, you know. I'm still almost two levels on her. Do this so I get level eight for this fight. All right, she gets to live. But we get Dragon, which is also nice. And I should get Tower too. The loss of a four. What? Come on, let's go. Okay, worth <laughs> Zerath cleaning up after my mess. Yeah, without full Blade of the Ruined King and with all this dagger stuff, I don't deal enough burst damage yet.
She's completely tilted. Taking tower would be way too greedy. For all I know, their jungler could be on his way. Or on her way, it's about that. Yeah. We get our item and uh, live happily ever after. So if I'm going wit's end, do I then still go for collector later on with the serrated duck? Or do I commit to other item? I um, I think Collector is still best, yeah, yeah, because of damage. And I mean, we ha have item flexibility anyway. We have two item slots we can freely pick and choose. We can just go for two magic resist items after our core. Completely securing the late game. Keep my overheal shield up. I have two levels on her now. Yeah, that freeze early was very much neck breaking. Okay, he takes my cannon. That's unfortunate. Let's move mid lane though. We won bot lane. We now need to impact the rest of the map. Yeah, maybe we even... <clears throat> when do we go for... We, we finish Collector, then we go Wits End, I'd say. Not getting any minion here. Doesn't matter, though, we're so far ahead now. Yeah, the Blanc's strategy of trying to... Get the other lanes ahead. Did not really work out, did it? Alright, GG. Um, didn't even go that far. But yeah, Rage Blade Misfortune. You see the early game items, they're very synergistic. You have a lot of big power. But if you want to see different Misfortune builds, click the link on your screen.